Hello, everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome. Yeah, so we are live. This is the Hangout series. We are live. This is the Hangout series. Uh, my name is Wisdom. I missed everybody. I missed everybody. How you all doing? Ah, I had to take some two weeks break from the show. Um, I mean, I had I had a lot of personal stuff I had to attend to, so um, I had to take some two weeks two weeks break from the show. Uh, but obviously, I missed every single one of you. It's been an an amazing week. Uh, uh, a lot has been happening. Um, in fact, if I start talking about all that has been happening, I'm not sure uh we'll finish the conversation today so let me just say i miss everybody i miss everybody uh, now so we are back two weeks break i wish i could just all of you what i've been um what i've been up up to but nothing much just trying to catch up with my life um a lot happened a lot i had to i had to log off a little bit but I'm back, feeling better and stronger. We are here to talk about more exciting stuff. I mean, there's a lot to talk about. This is the Hangout series. Um, so aside everything that has been happening for the past few weeks, um, I, I recently noticed that there has been a lot of conversation on... Um, on history and people catching up with history uh trying to know our roots in the niger delta uh and within the jock community and the jock clan you know um a, a lot obviously has been happening so i said hey would it not be a good time for us to have um a conversation actually on history and, and try to catch up on everything that has been happening uh or that has happened many many years ago that we the younger generations we are not aware um, um so i'm like okay even me myself i've been learning a lot about these histories lately i've asked a lot of questions and if you're from bonnie if you're from river state and within the job community there are a lot of histories that most of us young people um um we we don't we don't ha we don't even know uh so i said okay there's this young, interesting man who somehow keeps his vibe with the histories. I don't know how this guy does it. He does it in such an amazing way. I don't. I can't even tell. He knows so much about what is happening to all of us or what has happened to all of us from the past. So I said, I put a call to him. I said, look, look I'm going to drag you to my show and we must talk a lot about history. All right. So if you're watching me, if you're watching me right now, we're going to talk about uh, the nativity of Bonnie, our heritage and tourism. And then we'll touch a lot about history from where well it all started for us and what everybody needs to know. Help us on the show, share the video, tag your friends, and then let's have this important conversation. So let me bring my guest up uh, immediately. Without wasting so much time, let me bring my guest up. Ross Philip, we're live. We're live now. We're live. Okay. Yeah, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, perfect. I can hear perfect. You. Ah, everybody is grabbing their seats, holding their phone, putting popcorn and um, mineral by their side <laughs> to listen to you today. So um oh. there's so much, there's so much for me I want to I want to ask you, but we'll start it one step at a time, one step at a time. So we have roughly 40 40 50 one hour for one hour for this show today and i hope uh, we can cover a whole lot so let's see how you can wrap up everything so viewers if you're watching uh please at the bottom of your screen if you're using your mobile phone at the bottom of the screen where you're watching the video you can follow my page and then you can share this video across your timeline and to many to many groups uh, for others to also join that's the best way we can get more people to join the conversation if you want to know anything about history and where you're from grab a seat and let's get into the conversation all right my guest is ross philip ross philip irima 
Um, he is from Boni, um, a, a very strong Boni indigene, and he is chairman of the creed. Okay, Ross Philip, welcome to the show. Good evening, good evening, Mr. Wisdom. Yeah, so I, I like to say this each time I start. I said, I, I always tell my guests that many it's now months so some few months ago when the lockdown and everything started um i i thought it's much to say okay uh, how can we keep people educated and informed in a time like this and how can we get people engaged and not just stay at home and be bored and all of that so um how can we leverage on technology to edu to educate and inform people and then uh, have a platform where we can learn so and have a platform where we can bring conversations um, that are hidden on the ground to the forefront uh, and, and have people who can speak to this, some of these issues come on my show and talk about it. So the Hangout series was born and since then we've had, this is the 29th episode and we've had amazing guests come on the show to share a whole lot. I know you are aware of some of the problems we have been causing on the show, but <laughs> all right. <laughs> so today, today we are not causing problems. Today we are actually learning, and it's history. So um, tell us a little bit about yourself, and tell us a little bit about what the wh what is the creed, and what does it mean, and what do you guys do? Okay. Um, good evening, viewers. Good evening. Um, yeah. Okay. Ross Phillips, Ross Phillips, um, the name already, the name starts defining me um, different okay. from school and everybody has known me, Ross Phillips. Yeah, okay. so it's like, uh, it's, the name is me, I'm the name. So I'm from the okay. from the Rima family of um, Fubai Manila Purple House. Okay. Yeah. Um, I grew up in Bonny. Mm. Um, did my... My, my high school in Bonny, to the high institution, then it was time okay. to to see other places, learn also. And um, I think oh. during service year, it got up to up, up north. So at least I've moved okay. a bit. You served in the north? Yeah, Taraba. Oh, interesting, interesting. Yeah. So tell us about the creed. What do you guys do? Okay, so... Um, um, in 2017, um, me and the guys, me and my team, who happened to be some of some happened to be my friends. So we are together yeah. and we are like, um, Bonnie has potentials, um, mm. but what topping potentials, especially when you look at the tourism, everybody seems to always talk about the tourism potential of Bonnie. Everybody always talks about it, but it's never, it's never seen the dawn of break lights. So we said, okay, we, we could, we could, we have the ideas, but how, how do you say ideas when we are not used to in this part of the world, we are not used to investors and um, we are, we are from the kingdom is very traditional. Uh, when mm. I say very traditional, up to the point, up to the point that even an outsider cannot have a title as a man, mm. um, you, you can't buy land, you know, you, you must be connected bunny wise, you must be. So it shows how how traditional the kingdom is or where we are from is. So we said, okay, we have to be trusted. And what, that's one thing that is always around the kingdom. You have to be trusted to even for your ideas to fly. So we said, okay, let's start somewhere. And um, we said, okay, how can we start this? By making things that look nothing to be something. So that was, that was one of the, that was a watchword or one of the motto of the team when we started in 2017. And we were able mm. to organize the table tennis. We saw that, okay, in this kingdom, they love table tennis because okay. the team, the creed is all about problem solving and solution finding. So we said, okay, okay. everybody seems to love table tennis as a normal game, as a hobby. Can we take it to a competitive level? And I think we, 2017, we started and we held that competition and um, the winner was number one in River State then. Hmm. The winner of the 20, 2017 competition was the, was the number one in River State, Mr. Samson. Yeah. Um, okay. 2018, we did an instant yeah. soccer competition for the um, hmm. students in schools because we saw the Real Madrid Academy being um, being piloted by His Excellency, um, the governor. So we said, okay, okay, 
the Real Madrid Academy. Bonnie has not really produced any any notable soccer player for a kingdom that ha loves soccer. All the sports club mm -hmm. in Bonnie, they are majorly on soccer. So we said, okay, let's work on the Interscusan soccer. I'm hoping to to gain players into um, the academy. While we are still mm. working on that project, I think I'll say during the last Amnel Boss um, tournament, um, we got most of the play, the star players from that San Soccer tournament. They also featured in most of the clubs. It, that, okay. it was one, it was basically for schools in the island, the main town, Bonny. Um, okay. um, Logos won that competition. I think our guest of honor then in that um, event was the chairman, chief council, and the member representing Bonnie constituency and okay. others. So the burial chairman then to the BI RSC. Yeah. So 2018, after that first part of the year, we did um, the marathon um, in partnership mm -hmm. with um, our brand Ideapreneur. So we're in partnership and we did the marathon 2018, which was welcomed in the kingdom. And we are like, okay, yes. So we had to be sure that ideas. So one, one I'm saying this is from what I said initially, mm. you have to be trusted to be given something big. And it started with table tennis, but it got up to a marathon. And after 2018, 2019, the marathon was bigger in 2019. And okay. um, finally, and that same 2019, we started the Bonnie Atlas because this was a long term plan of the team mixing the tourism potential and being a trusted brand in terms of what you can do. And we started Bonnie Atlas. So Bonnie Atlas was, is really a problem solving um, content created in terms of if Bonnie is envisioned to be the mini Dubai in years to come or in a few years to come, that means mm. there are going to be a lot of misconceptions about Bonnie and not about Bonnie, but in terms of things in the island, when it comes to culture, tradition, customs, okay. you're going to lose a lot of, the, you're going to lose a lot of it with, um, with with civilization or modernism. So Bonnie Atlas was kind of a solution to to start informing us. So we start knowing, we start recording these things before. So but, but Bonnie out. Atlas is sort of like a magazine, is it? It's 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 a content that has um kind of many variables. So it's a content, a, fran a franchise of its own from made by the creed, but has the variables, which one of the outlets, it comes from through the Facebook social media. We call those the visual cards. Anything it informs you through the visual cards, it's yeah. and through Facebook or social media is visual card. But there are some items that could not really be explained via via the social media. So you needed a reader's delight, especially if yeah. you want to record it, if you want to keep it. So the, the need for the magazine and we did uh, we we wanted to come up with an idea. We said, okay, can we talk about culture without the normal things people know? culture and heritage and we came out with the cultural okay. issue of the bunny atlas yeah okay great so about uh, all of this now how have you been how have you been faring uh, how have you been faring so far with the creed and the atlas how is that going for you guys okay it's good i i think the the the, the, the atlas magazine got us something so we we are we, we are in, we are contacted by by a, by a team or a company or a team that mm. uh in charge of this mini Dubai structure. So mm. they asked us to, yeah, yeah. So it's not supposed to, but like they are working on it. They are working on it, mm. you know, it's a plan. So uh, they are, they are what, doing their what, team. When I saw the last Atlas, I was like, I'm going to quarrel you guys. I didn't know it was you that was even in charge or you and your team. I said, why am I not on this Atlas? I used to dress, I used to wear clothes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's great stuff you guys are doing with the Atlas. I saw some amazing bunny men, um, um, with, with, with some of the best dressed bunny men on the Atlas, um, the last time, and it, it was really great. I have a couple of friends and senior others who were there. I mean, it's a great way to kind of um, um show what we are really made of, uh, and that's lovely. Congrats yeah. to you guys, and I, I wish I wish you guys all the best with that. I mean, it's one of the best creative ways we can put our community out there. And you guys are doing a great job. Okay. Thank you. All right. So let's get down to the conversation now. So for for some few weeks, a lot has been going on social media on history and history and history. And somehow you have been behind all of this and you have been driving it with all the in-depth analysis and history 
sharing of information you have been doing. So my first question to you is, how do you know all of these things about history? I mean, if I am not mistaken, the both of us, we are almost age mates. Um, or now you go, you smart in senior me, or now me senior you, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, I, I mean, I say that because I remember your days at St. Paul and my days at BNGS. I mean, I frequent St. Paul a lot because almost all of you are with my friends at St. Paul. You know, so I know that we are, we are at least of age, age bracket, but I don't even know yeah. so much as you know. So how do you know all of these things about history? It's scary. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's, it's, it's like how I would say how, how you do what you do. You do it so well. So I, I'm a believer of um, sometimes we are destined for some things. I'm a believer, okay. but yet um, also passion. Passion, interest, and uh, when you're opportuned. Um, while growing up, I, I was the indoor type. So okay. there was a lot of my, my channels. We are the Discovery, the History Channel, um, the Najo. So I came across lots of um, world history, I would say. I got okay. books on world history, the Rome, the Greeks, the Egyptians, Chinese, and I got that. So I think for... for one thing when it comes to um, the bunny side of history, I got a lot of folk tale from my the, my family. My family is kind of large. My growing up, it was a very large family, and we always come together. So when you have lots of people in the house, there are lots mm. of things that are happening. There are lots of things that are said, and um, you kind of pick up one or two, and it stays with you. So mm. with that, I think my first bunny history book, my 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 late mom got it for me without me knowing. The, the Chronicles of Bonnie, she just bought it and kept for me. I think then I, I was not around. So when I came back, I, I went through it and it was informative. Um, since then, I've been coming across other works from the one from G.I. Jones, um, other books written by Wari Bere, and um, some works done by the Historical Society of Bonnie. So mm. I've come across some of the books, but I always ask myself and and I think that's read part and my part and Rosili parts kind of met, you know. Mm. It was um why are there why are there a lot of arguments and misconception? And in Italy, because of watching lots of those world history, there is always an investigation when when accounts don't match up. So there needs to be an account. So an example, as an example I'm gonna give is about Jesus. So Jesus for I'm talking from a non-Christian point of view. Mm. So Jesus has to be proven as real, not as a believer. So I'm not okay. talking as a believer. I'm talking about Jesus, the account, his stories. We need to be I'll agree that this man was alive first before mm -hmm. we can say he's the Messiah. So mm -hmm. four books talk about his lifetime from birth to death. Four books. Mm -hmm. um, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Okay. And these four books, if you watch, they are not really saying the same thing at some point. Mm. Example is example is when his stone was rolled, when he was resurrecting. Some mm. of the book said five Marys. Some mentioned two Marys. But if you watch what um, I, I think this is a little bit about detective work and his, what is his history and um, detective work, what it shows that they are not lying. Do you know why? Why? Because they are not saying the same thing. If everybody is saying the same thing, there is a lie. It was it's planned. It's is a script that is written that is written for everybody to lie together. Hold up, hold so up. If some... So hold up, hold up. Wait, pause a minute. So in 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 talking about historical events, if everybody yeah. is saying the same thing or giving the same account, there's a lie somewhere. Is, a, is that what you're saying? Is a plan? Yes, it's a planned lie. So before coming on stage, before coming, before coming. Um, life, you could have. I could have told you something. You could have told me something, and we both plan to lie. So we we'll say it exactly the same way because it has been premeditated, pre-planned. But if we are saying it and it's not, it's looking close, but not yet the same. There is truth. So it's inside that whole, that whole mixture. That's where the truth lies. That's where the truth mm. lies. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let 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 me pause. So what you have said is you 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 were the indoor type, and then uh, that made you began to read a lot. And um, this is how 
you get to know so much about the history of Bonnie and um, uh, so many family. histories you yeah, have and, uh, and, and your family too. Yes, yes. Family, family plays a wow. major role. Yeah. Wow, that, that's great. Okay. So what my first question now would be, I know this question has been on debate a lot of times. So from your account of history, um, can you tell us briefly who is truly a bunny man? Because um, hmm. um, now it, some people say, you know, we, we, we all came from different places to settle in Bonny, and today we are now Bonny people. Um, um, but from your account of, of history, what can you say or who can you describe as a true Bonny man? Is it because his father and mother was from Bonny and then they gave birth to him? Or from your account of history, how did we originate, you know, to even become born in the first place? Okay. So, um, one, one, like I said, there are going to mm. be, there are quite a number of books that tells about Bonnie. So I'm, I'm going to finally arrive at uh, one response to your, to your question. So okay. Bonnie, the Bonnie and uh, founders, their, the ancestors, the 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 originals, they mm. they were migrants, and it seemed like it, from a place called Okoloba. That of all the places, there are two there are two places mentioned, but the place called Okoloba that can be traced to a place in Delta states now. O I think o current, Okoloba. Okoloba. O K O L O B A. It's a place now in in Delta states, mm. Delta state, yeah. So so mm. if you take if you take the Bonny account, there were, there was migration. Um, that means lots of movements. I, I I one example of migrants today are the Fulani men. You see how they travel, mm. new ground. They try to adapt, but yet they still try to retain who they are. Mm -hmm. They had like money. So Bonnie migrated a lot. And in that migration, Bonnie picked up one or two things. It's inevitable as humans. It's inevitable. Okay. And we finally, they finally landed at a place where they call Okoloma. We had a name called Okoloma. So that's Okoloma, just for the information. It's, let's say, you know, the present beach area. Might not mm. even be the present bit, but that Keb Keb current Keb Road area, town Aziz, that mixture of that place, that's that's the Okolama. That's the Okolama. Okay. We are Alabari are landed. Now, definitely one man does not land, except that's only him. So they are family, they are clans. If if you go to uh, most of the Ijo areas in um, the Delta Bayasa, they, they operate more on clans and kindreds mm. and lineages, not really on chieftaincy. Okay. So if that is said, so that's the, the move that's a part. So it's like friends, friends, brother, brother, family, family move together and they and they arrived. Um, so one, one thing I, I want to say is when when the Oklahoma came, the Oklahoma group came, which was Alabaria and his brothers, definitely they met people. They saw people. They have been seeing people along the way. And mm -hmm. for everybody to come together, common interest uh, or, or survivor, Bonnie Kingdom was formed. Mm. Now the name Bonnie, the name Bonnie, to really, to really have in mind what the picture, because because like that's what we do on in Bonnie Atlas. We try to look at the bigger picture, the parts that the angle that nobody's looking at. Why was this mm -hmm. place even called bon Bonnie? I don't know if if you're ever opportunity to go towards where the LNG has their loading bay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they have their loading bay. I, I bet you wisdom, that's the that's the that's the finest place in the whole of Bunny Island. Mm, why? When you go there, you see the greens are, are neat, the sand is white, the water is like the Caribbeans. It's it's the finest part of Bunny. And if you're coming with a ship, you just have to say this place is beautiful. And that's what Bonnie means. Beautiful. It's an English word. Mm. So when 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 this 
what the Portuguese that came to us first. I'm not going to be saying much about uh, maybe I'm not going to be saying much word to word because I'm not I'm not a history book. I'm not an historian. So, mm. but I'm going to say what I what I've take, taken out of this whole everything I've read and I've researched on. So the, the Portuguese they they called this area where we are in name, but they call it the Roy Rail. Roy Ray, R O I O, then Ray, R O A Y. So that's what the Portuguese called this area, but the British called it Bunny. Okay. Yeah. So with time, that name Bunny kind of morphed every community, every settlement, everybody that was around. <laughs> so now this goes back to my to my question. So, so we can't categorically define who a true bunny man is is that what you're saying we, we can we can so I, 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 we can i think every everything we have um, everything we have that has happened through bunny history has mm. has been packaged to to say who a bunny man is um okay. it says if your father is from bunny you're from bunny mm. okay if your mother is from bunny to the best i'm answering to the best of my knowledge you're recognized as born in some houses traditionally some houses some families might not give you everything when it comes maybe as right but you're definitely not um yeah, definitely not push away compared to other tribes i've been i've been to the east it's different from the east it's different mm. when your mother is from the east is is from a house and you're in that house it's different from when the way it is in bonnie and uh, finally there's that this it's reduced now. It's low key. It's it's reduced. It's low key, or it's gone. But there is that aspect of adop adopting. So Bonnie started the whole adoption that before any other place adopting. Though it's a thing in history, but when I'm so close to you, I'm your boy. I'm I'm serving you well. I'm dedicated to you. I'm supporting. I'm part of your success. I'm it's, I'm part of you. So, but right now in Bonnie, officially, if you're Father, mother is from Bonnie. You're regarded as Bonnie. Mm. As long as your interest is for Bonnie. <laughs> okay. So I, I asked this because, you know, um, while I was trying to sort of prepare for this conversation, so I began to read um, a lot about um, Bonnie and then the story that builds up um, about Bonnie people until now. And uh, uh, and in in what I was reading, I came to find out uh, uh, that uh, uh, Bonnie transformed. So in a way, most of most of our four forefathers, because of the slave trades, the slave trade era, you know, they were they were they were slaves that after the abolishment of sl slave trade, they began to 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 head the houses. You understand, you know, the likes of history mentioned or the history that was originally mentioned, the likes of King Jaja, um, uh, that's Jubo Jubo, and then uh, mentioned the name called Madu, and uh, mention one other name again. Um, so, and then these people also gave birth to children who grew up to also now lead the houses. I'm, I'm, I'm not good with their names. I, I wish I had, I had written down some of the names so that I could be able to to also uh, 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 ask you a little bit of it. Okay. So you want to talk a little bit about that before we move on? Okay. Um, so be be before before I will go, I will just say, you know, some, some part of the Igbos, the Igbo tribe, they say they are the last tribe of Israel. Mm. So the question in my mind is, would we say, would we say they are, they are Igbos? Would, would we say they are Israelites? Or with, mm. they, with, with time, so so I think it has that identity must have rubbed out from them. Uh, the the British monarch, if you trace mm. them, if you trace that, that dynasty, they are connected to the, to Germany. That that's the lineage is connected to Germany, but um, it's rubbed off. It ha, it has gone out of them. Like it can only be mentioned in part of their history, but it can't be controlling their presence. So definitely, once you got to know why why all this was playing out, like for me, we, like I said, we always look at a different angle from what me and my team does. We look at a mm. different angle. And one, one of the angles was we got to know that the, the, the Ibani tribe was not really a populated tribe. Okay. They, are, they were not really a populated tribe because you are killing twins. 
So that mm. means, let's say if they born five twins this this month, you have killed all, all five of them. Uh, mm. We have malaria. So they definitely mm. there are tropical diseases that must have been killing kids and children. And um, the environment was not friendly. Imagine the whole rain that falls in Boni and you don't have a good house. Mm. You might die of pneumonia. Mm. So, so mm. one thing we have to understand was the Ibani tribe, the Ibani tribe originally, we are very few in population. And to, to, to be able to fight against your enemies, the tribes mm. like the Andonis that we are not, that we are not, it wasn't a civilized time then. It was an era where every man was a nation of his own. Was mm. You understand? So you had to fight and um, you had to do business well. So as, as good businessmen and people eager to survive, survivor and business has made them to, you have to incorporate, you have to build up a team, you have to build up an entity and it's, mm. it's led to the lots of incorporation and also not just that, but also hospitality, the hospitable nature. Remember, Boni has been a tribe that has been migrating. If these other tribes that we are migrating through their lands didn't really welcome them, Maybe no, they wouldn't have survived. So it was still part of them to always accommodate anybody that comes, as far as that person mm. is not against your 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 interest. So definitely, if you go down to every house, let me just put it like that, every house, if not, if let's say most houses, if not every house, there is an element from leadership to mm. what set what makes them up of different different tribes or other um, other tribes as a den as a den that's made up and built what we now call Bonnie Kingdom. The, the, we should always watch that watch word Bonnie Kingdom. Bonnie okay. Kingdom. The kingdom let, let, yeah. let, let me let me hold you there. So um why said about Darlington Adango he just commented um and he's saying that you are a Bonnie man by birth, mother or father, adoption and marriage. Interesting. So uh, my, right. my my guest on Sunday, I'm going to be asking a certain question, but I want to get your, <laughs> your point on it. So um, I know those days um, um, mothers used to travel to the hinterlands outside of um, 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 this our region. They can go and pick a wife and they pay the bride price and then they bring the girl <laughs> to their house and then um, I grew up to understand that if that woman in that house begins to bear any children, that those children belong to the house and not the man that impregnated them. So those children, mm, yeah. regardless of whoever was their father that impregnated their, mo their mother, they still remain bonny, bonny uh, sons and daughters. Is that, is that correct? Yes, yes. So definitely, I also grew up to to see the same thing, and that's why I said mm. once we have to understand that control this was population, population. Okay. Once we, the Boni population has always, even to now, compared to other tribes, we are low. We are low in population. Okay. We are okay. low in population. So, so mm. our environment and everything has made our population is not always high, mm. and I think with that, th this was part of it. Being successful, you need all hands on deck. And Boni mm. has always been an industrial place. So, yes, mm. it, 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 it was practice. I, I don't know if it's done. It has been done in, since the year 2000. But, yes, mm. definitely 70s, 80s, mm. I think it was done. 60s, 40s, it was done. All right. All right. Great. So, my, my next question, before I go my next question, if you ask, if you are watching, if you have questions and comments, I'll be reading everything to Ross Philip. Please drop it on the comment section. And please be nice, be kind, and help us get more people on the conversation by sharing the video on your timeline and on various groups so that we can get more people on the conversation. I will love and will be very happy to see comments from our elders who will correct us on some of the things we'll be talking about. I mean, Rose Philip, you agree with me that we are open to be guided. So just, in case, uh, just in case we are, we are missing at some point. So please... Um, just below your screen, if you're using your phone, you can follow my page and you can please share the video across and thank all your friends uh, uh, to come on. All right. So, Ross Philip, the next thing we, we always struggle with is um, do we describe ourselves as Ijo people or as Ibani people? Um, um, I know you have said that we 
migrated or originated from the Okoloba community um, in present day Delta. And um, Okoloba community is in Bomadi in present day um, Delta state for those who don't know. So um, that is sort of where we originated from. Um, so, so do we, there's that confusion always. Do we, do we, how best do we describe ourselves? Are we Ijo people or are we Ibani people? Okay, um, I think we are both. We are both because of, because of, because of um, everybody. When, when you say the Ijo people, they are, they are, the, the idea is, there seem to be one, something common among them. They seem to always have a, a element of water. So one, one thing I would say about Ijo people is one common thing is, be it Christian, be it who, you, who they are, they always believe that there is yeah. something inside the water, spirit, whatever. They, there's, okay. there's that inborn belief that there is something inside the water. There's that mm. respect. And I think that's one, if, if nothing, I, 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 I might be wrong, but... If if nothing, that is the as one true identity. Apart from say we are George, no, we are George. Tairapa, no Tairapa. There seem to be one belief in something inside the water. So I think that 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 that's that's an identity that other you can't go to you can't go to Taraba. In Taraba, they have a very big lake, a very big lake that you must cross mm. with this kind of kotonu or so. But you don't mm. see them have that kind of that kind of belief that there is spirit now. So I think that's an Ijo thing and it makes us part of it. But our identity in the Ijo is being Ibani people, which is only shared by two communities, two mm. kingdoms, Boni and Opopo. Ibani so, communities. Ibani so did tribe, we, Ibani tribe. Did, did we formulate the Ibani by ourselves? How did it come about? Did, did you by any chance read read in, in read on uh, probably how, how the Ibani tribe started uh, is it something that i know when allah barrier um, uh, founded or, or look allah barrier and his brothers founded bunny and um, they came in as a job people uh, because they were they were moving they were moving from from the uh, okoloba in um, bomadia community uh, uh, sort of so they were moving from there to bunny but they came as a job people so how do we how did the bunny now come in where did it come in from Okay, so definitely Libani is um, is a name, and um, in part of these um, founding fathers, one of them had the name Ibani. It's is a, is a larger full um, Ibani language name, but it's he had the name Ibani. So he was part of, like I said, one one thing we have to understand in terms of if especially people that forms a team, they will understand it more. That one person might be pronounced, one person might be the spokesperson. One person might be in front, but it takes lots of people behind. And um, Ibani was one of these. And I, uh, from from all we read, Ibani seemed to play a major role. We are in terms of communicating, interacting with people. He played mm -hmm. a major role in communicating so, and interacting Ibani with people. Was, Ibani was a person's name. Yes, yes, um, yes. I would. I would. Time. I will record the full. The full. Um, um, name the full name, hmm. but Ibani hmm. was a person. So that that was a name. It's like his only niche was passing, but he was the one making these communications. Because, like I said, hmm. there are other people. So we are others who are playing a role. He was communicating, and definitely, I was in a wisdom people now. Now Rosville is people hmm. now. Now wisdom people hmm. now. Now wisdom. This man, now wisdom people now. And with that, hmm. the name stick. The Ibani people. And it might not, once you also have to understand, it's that the Ibani is not really that it was only just on our place, the name Ibani played a role was after, after Asimini, after Asimini, mm. as you mm -hmm. go on, when you got to a place of Fubara, of King Fubara, that's after Perekuli the first, his, his mm. son had a word, that's a boy, a word, a slave, um, whatever word you want to, a, a, a PA, if we're using a modern term, that his name was mm -hmm. Ibani also. And that man was a builder for the Fubara dynasty, for the Fubara king, that's Perikuli II. He was a builder. So mm -hmm. definitely, the more Boni is now interacting with Europeans, with, um, with um, 
Um, in that Portuguese, Portuguese. Mm. Yeah, the, no, as a Fubara, yeah, as a Fubara, the Portuguese is already washing off. It's the English now. Okay, as okay. I think Fubara, particularly okay. the second. You, you, you okay. see that Ibani was, he's like his PA, he's one, his right hand man. So Ibani okay. was playing a lot of roles for him. And with time, the, the name stick. So when others are communicating, they are like Naibani people, Naibani people. So, like, mm. like we say, there are lots of reasons why that name must have stick and stayed with time. But definitely, people with time repeated the names, answered the names. There are lots of people. Yeah. At just, some point, I answer the names, yeah. Just, just like the rapper, we our rapper with Ty is called the George. It was named after King George, correct? Yes, yes, sir. All right. All right. So, um, a lot of questions are coming in for you. I'm going to be asking, but before I go there, mm -hmm. I want to ask you. Uh, uh, before I ask you on also the the some of the roles we played in history for the Jaw people, River State and Nigeria, I want to ask you to to talk a little bit about the nativity of Bonnie. What what does that mean? So people are seeing it yeah. on my screen. So just just turn, <laughs> throw some small, just two minutes or one minute. Nativity of Bonnie, okay. what do we mean? The, the word native is, um, or is, a, is a Latin word that moves to French um, and England and English, Old English. So nativity means bet, bet, bet. Nativity okay. means bet. Nativity can also be described as when you're talk, trying to talk about the birth of Jesus. But in this context, nativity means bet. So it's like saying mm. bet of bunny. Bet oh. of bunny. Mm. Yes, bet mm. of bunny. All Not right. More like origin, so, but bet. Okay, bet. Okay, okay. So, but looking from our bet and um, um, going through history and some of the, the, the things that happened, uh, uh, if you look at history a lot, uh, Bonnie was at the center of many acti colonial activities and pre-colonial activities um, within the uh, 18th and 19th century. Um, um, Bonnie was like a country of his own. Uh, and, and even to date, Bonnie still, played, um, um, still plays a lot of role in, in the jaw, uh, a river state and Nigeria as a, as a whole. But I want to talk about how, how did we go from being the orgas to always being not even visible at all in some of the happenings um, in Nigeria as a whole. Uh, 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 what, what do you think happened through history that made us to just go to the bottom of everything? Wow. Okay. Okay. I would say we lost part of, I would just immediately say we lost part of our nativity. Hmm. Yes. Reason being that Coco was introduced into Nigeria by a bunny man. He went as far, he planted in Pony for business growth. He went, he planted in the east, he planted up to Ibadan. There's a place called Coco House, and in India, they don't they don't wash it off that squeeze burning go is the bringer of this, or he brought this. But you can see that with time we stopped planting cocoa. Mm. And they continue planting cocoa. So we lost a nativity. Um, another aspect I'm going to talk about is um, what's happened. I would say commercial commercialization played a role. So when it was all about trading, 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 Bonnie was very important, not up till when they decided to form Port Harcourt. So it might look so, uh, somehow, but Port Harcourt was part of the problem of Bonnie. Because getting Potakot closer to the interland and mm. can still transport made, 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 made need of uh, um, Bonnie during the colonial peak. So during the time, Lord Lugard was about Southern Nigerian governor. Mm. Bonnie was no more needed. It was now Potakot. Surprisingly, they had consulates in Wari, in Calabar, in other places. The consulate in Calabar is still standing. But the one in Bonnie that was bigger, more beautiful, it's nowhere to be found because it was dismantled mm. and it's believed to have been taken towards the Potakot area because it was imported, so it was dismantled. They were red and it was sad to hear that 
um, when it, the consulate was being taken 1920 something, I'll be 1915 or so. That um, yeah. 1915 something that the, the bunny people asked, they told the white men that please leave the consulate. It's part of our identity, and the, the reply for the white man was like, "Bonnie did not pay for it. <laughs> that Bonnie did not pay for it, and they had to take it away." Mm. So, another thing is, another thing is, at some point, we we like I said, we lost our nativity. Our nativity was branching out. It was what the founders did. They always branched out. They always traveled. We we are lost mm. in the island because the island was now perfect. The island became mm. perfect and everybody was lost in the island. But the, 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 the founding fathers, the ancestors, the forefathers, mm. they, 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 they wanted Bonnie to be better and bigger. That was their mm. motivation, traveling. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to paint you, for you to paint, to paint the picture of Squeeze Baningo traveling from Bonnie. Then there was no, there was no, no really big boat, no plane traveling all the mm. way to South America to get rubber tree to get Koku. He went to Fernanda Po to get Koku, but he reached South America to get Robert Tree. Look at the travel. Look at the look at the the the, the, the way he traveled. It's it's mm. mind blowing. Traveling to the interlands on Kenu and all those things, going up to Europe. The, the truth is the only the Zika Hart house, I think for now the only the Zika Hart has one example of how far Bonnie Kingdom was. There, there's a place in Oyibo, which is the um Ogoni area, Oy, in Oyibo. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel Hart House has a community there. It is their own. It's out of mm. our not normal territory, but it is Bonnie Kingdom because Ezekiel Hart really? has it and they are part of Bonnie. That, this was how other houses, other chiefs had lands in uplands because they needed a place where their men will rest because mm. they are trading a lot. Now, one thing also with this topic, nativity of Bonnie, I, I, I will have to point that the nativity of the Ibani people, of Bonnie people, of the Ibani people revolves, it rotates, it revolves around leadership. Everything that has happened to us that we have been, that it's leadership, a decision, a choice. I, I, I'll tell you, most of the things that we take as tradition today started with one person doing it because he was a leader. And it became custom tradition. So, guy, are Culture. you saying it is, it is somebody that that uh, or a certain leadership that make us that or that made us go down? Um, 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 which word do I put? Because currently now they just remember Bonnie when they remember Nigeria LNG. Um, uh, people don't <laughs> remember Bonnie um, uh, when 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 Bonnie was part of the pre-colonial eras. I mean, we don't get to hear some of these stories, you know, where we have to call Bonnie as part of. <laughs> Um, 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 part of the core of the history of Nigeria. Uh, uh, so I, I just want to know what, what happened in between to, to this point a, where we are a, now. There was a period. So just recall my last statement. Everything mm. about the nativity of Bonnie people, the nativity of the Bani people revolves around leadership. Leadership. You, you've gotten that word, right? Now, yes. there was a period in Bonnie after we at our peak. We had 50 mm. something years, if not 50, something 55 or 50 years, either it's 50 mm. years or 55 years, that Bonnie mm. had no king. Mm. Bonnie had no king. 50 something. Man, don't grow old, born children, no. 50 something years, no king. No outright king. No outright Amayana Bo. No outright king. And who I don't was know if you're getting. Who, who was leading the kingdom then? There was regency, regencies of chiefs, regencies of mm. chiefs. Um, it Waribo did after Waribo, Ate, Fubra Manila Pepo. There was a mm. Sodeye Manila Pepo. I think after mm. Sodeye, um, there was another person, um, I think had Alison or, um, I'm trying to recall his name. Then Sodeye and uh, Manila Pepo came in again before George Pepo, the second, came in. So there were there was fifty something years that Bonnie had no king, and it's like I said, everything. If you go through, if I start telling you from the beginning of everything, mm. Bonnie, you see that it is the leaders. It is revolving around the leaders. Now there is mm. there is uh, fifty something years.
is this was after George died. And Wari Bere, uh, Wari Bo, not Wari Bere, Wari Bo, Chief Wari Bo died in 18, 1898. So since then, since then, King George died 1888. So since then, till mm. 18, till 1932, you can see that's when we lost it. Mm. That's when we lost the whole. That's when we lost the whole glory. So the the what what Bonnie was all about was not there. Leadership. Mm. All right. Le, 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 let's hold it there. Um, I like the way you remember the dates. I mean, it's really fascinating. I'm, I'm afraid of you. How you remember the I dates? I don't remember much. Uh, 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 and that's interesting. So let me ask you my question. Red Awanta wants to know. He said, um, would you agree that it's arguably um, that Finima did not originate from Ijo? Where the founders of Oni came from? Is that it? Is that true? Did I read that correct? That Finima did not originate <laughs> from from Ijo, where the founders of Bonny came from. Uh, hello, hello, Red, hello. <laughs> <laughs> is, 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 is there a truth to that? And what led to Finima joining and becoming one, another Bonny? Well, is that, that's his question. Yeah, so these two things are his question. Okay, like I said, like I said, I'm answering from everything I've read I've researched and have assimilated so it's ross phillips it's not, it's not bonnie's history book it's not it's not an official bonnie so it's what ross phillips has assimilated and is giving us so the, the funny truth is we are we are the finima um side of bonnie are coming from is the same place but now one thing we have to know about the okoloba we are you have just given a more detail to yeah. the audience where they are coming from there was there was a, there was kind of an a communal problem there was fighting you know that time now i catch you i kill you mm. everybody they run everybody they carry in everybody they carry in children they run in brother and sister oh man oh man go your way so this mm. um this um um the finima angle led by um um congo congo uh yeah led by Congo, I might be wrong, Congo, O K O N G O, um, came in. So they were using more of the shoreline and it came in towards the, the southern part of Bonny. We had the Finima as it is the, by geography, is the southern, southeast part of Bonny, south, southwest part of Bonny, southwest okay. part of Bonny. Yeah. Okay. So they, they came in, they are moving through little islands. Now, one, one thing we know that during travel, like the way I said it now, they travel, they move here. It took them a while too, but finally they made it. Um, and they were living. It said through research and what um, other people into history have said, um, the Tombia, present day Tombia um, people, we are also in, in that place. No, the present day Tombia people, yeah, we are also, they were, like, Present day Tumbia people, there are a trace of them in Old in, in Finima. Mm -hmm. Now the name that they, we are the, the name that community Finima was answering, we are the Finima East now. Like, like we are the Anna is we are the originally we are is called kind of that was the name. The name they, they had then. And if you even to, to, to date, that area is thunder prone, lots of rain, the weather. Mm -hmm. You no, know, mm. the, the climate. One, one thing in Bonnie, the climate will always play a role in everything. So they kind of moved a bit forward. We had a call old Finima, which is um, a bit where LNG is. Okay. Where LNG is. So, so mm. definitely they were there, but they from all from all indication they seem part of the main Bonnie. Why? Why is why is this? There's there's what um in Bonnie they call um. Okolo, Okolo, Okolo Ngekri Fengi, Fengi or so. But it's like the meeting together of communities that has formed this kingdom. Mm. Remember, I started with describing where Okoloma is, just the town mm. area. Mm. Their, 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 their beliefs and their oral traditions and lit oral traditions, I'll say for now, of Kuruma, Oloma, Fibiri, Alabama, mm. uh, uh, and other communities, including the Finima, having little pots of settlements, and together everybody came together and became 
the Bunny Kingdom. So, so the is, it, for, is, it, the is it like is it like Finima was uh, Finima or the people of Finima were already existing one way or the other before Okolomada's Bunny, or the, um, they, I, they I also. Go on, go on. Okay, I won't. I, I won't say existing because everybody. They, well, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna say a, a little. A little. I'm gonna say something about it. So I won't say existing because everybody was alive. So everybody is existing, but they seem to have landed. If you follow their routes, the the routes, the 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 routes, the the uh, Alabaria group used seem long to just arrive, Bonnie, especially in those prehistoric times. So I'm gonna give one quick fact. So when there a, a man called Kelwick uh, Williamson, when he was doing the Ibani language, he was trying to put it into writing. They said one way to calculate how, how much time a, a particular set of people have traveled from their origin is through their language. Okay. So when they compared the Ibani language with the language you go to this Okolaba, there seemed to be a lot of differences so now the language is not closer to the uh, uh, Calabari language. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit closer to the indo language. It's showing that they have been spending more time in these places. Their language is a bit changing. It's a mm -hmm. bit metamorphosing compared to what they carried. And when the Alak Barrier group and the Congo group, that's the group from um, Oklahoma and Fini Finiama, they met each other, they could understand each other. What does that mean? Mm. They could understand it, it, each other. It means that if we can understand ourselves, we can stay together. Yes, and it means definitely we are sharing the same language. We have a common origin. Hmm. If man from River State understand man from River State slangs, it means say in that state for for River State before or in from River State to understand that language. Hmm. So, hmm. so so they met and that like I'm saying, this was there were lots of communities. Some have gone. Some still remain. They were fighting war. Everybody wanted land. Everybody wanted peace. Some people would not want to stay with you. But at the end of the day, they, they, they met each other and they became one. Hmm. All right. Okay. So let me take some comments from the comment session. Um, Dalitina Dango said, please, Ebane was gotten from the name Obeni. Obeni is the name given to the area of the Niger Delta. Um, hence, def, uh, before we arrived here, yeah, Simingi was called Ebeni. Nyana Simingi, hey, help me. Oh. <laughs> um, I disagree with the saying that Ebane was someone's name. Among the founders, none goes by the name Ebane. And so, what were they bearing before the so called Ebane was born? Okay. All right, so because uh, from the from the account you are giving, which is how you understood it, if a, if the name Ebani or the person Ebani was was around with King George, um, no, uh, no, wait, uh, um, Allah Baria them. Okay, okay, then Allah Baria. Okay, not King George, Allah Baria. Oh, okay, I'm um, not sure you have. Get, 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 no, you have get what I said. I said, I, I said the name Ebani has not just been one person answering it. It has been a name up to even up to the time of Fubara. He had a PA. I'm just putting in terms of a PA, a ward, mm -hmm. a servant that also had the same name. That's why um, this culture will answer a Baniware. He was the head of the Fubara Manila Purple House when King Fubara became, became um, king. So definitely he was doing the duties or the bidings of the king. He's interacting mm -hmm. with lots of people for the king, on behalf mm -hmm. of the king. And I said, naturally, Na okay, how will I put it? Nah, na, na wisdom boy, na wisdom boy, or uh, wisdom people, wisdom people. So definitely, the name will rub off because you don't call yourself something most times. People usually call okay. you. Okay, let me hold you there. So Nengi Jamaica says, according to your previous statement, our leaders back then were the main reason why we lost our nativity. Um, now my question is that nativity that was lost have we regained it or our walk to victory is far-fetched hmm. nengi that's a powerful question go on go on go on 
Um, I wouldn't say, like I said, you, you asked the question now, why did we move from top to bottom? Yes. As the bunny, bunny. And I said, if you watch when this was happening, there was a time when we didn't have a king, an outright king. There were, there were regency, so there was a form of leadership. But you know, when you know the king, you know the king. Mm. King comes with your own, with your own, with your own spirits. Being a mm. leader comes with his own spirits. So there was a time of 50 something years, 50 years, 50 something years, where there was no outright king. I mean, it's lots of things. Some people don't really listen to the person where they heard them that time. You know, be king now. Why did they stop my life? So, mm. whether can we get back there? We have to first of all turn, turn what we have. What do we have? Our culture, our custom, our tradition. We have to turn it to heritage. We have to turn it to heritage. We, we always say we have a rich heritage. Yes, but it's like. Um, the money there for Bitcoin. Bitcoin. We never, we never turned to physical money yet. I don't know if you're, you're, you're getting... We, we have yeah, not... Yeah. We have, the, the potential is there, but it has not turned to something physical. How do I mean? How, how do I mean? It's, I, 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 I made a post back then that how has China... How, how is it that um, um, the, in Europe they greet by, they greet by buying down? Yeah. You, which you can attest to. It's like mm. in Nigeria, as you just they go, your mind and they tell you, so, but I go bow down or I no go bow down. Mm. Already. It's like in Bonnie now, it's for us to look at. We one thing about the Bonnie people, we don't copy. That's that's one unique okay. thing about Bonnie. Bonnie doesn't copy because it's what's trending. So we'll never tell you to bend down. But what can mm. we do differently? Yeah, I, was, I was in a meeting, so a very formal meeting, a very formal meeting with people more than me. Like I come to beg. Capital like that, like I was hoping I would get something. You no, know, the lady wanted to sit down at the head of the table. I told her, mm. Madam, for for Bonnie Land, the woman needed to sit down for head of table. Error, error, that one, error. If you see that, no, they go, no they, but no, this, this, no, get this. This was not a traditional setting, okay. it was a company, it was a formal setting. But I had to tell her, Madam, for Bonnie, woman needed to sit down for head of table. You see what I did mm. here? So imagine yeah. that in Bonnie. If you like, be, be church, be this, be that. Mm. You need to sit down for head of table. You need to sit down for head of table because woman need to sit down for head of table. That means when anybody is coming, you need to sit down for head of table. You know that, oh, this is the order. Another example I'm going to give is inside St. Stephen's Cathedral. What you have to understand, St. Stephen's Cathedral seems like, the, it seems like a nativity also of Bonnie, something Bonnie. Why? Mm. In Ibani, they had something where women sit at the right hand. Men sit at the left hand. Okay. Natural in meeting in normal Ibani meeting is like a bunny tradition. It's like a bunny custom. It's custom because they practice. Mm. In Sesame's Cathedral, if you enter, the old women too, too bad that most of, we are lo losing some of them due to age. They are dying or they can't come to church again. Most of those old women, because of that's what they grew up with, they are always like staying at the right hand of the church. If you're the priest mm. facing, they like staying at the they like staying at the heart right hand. And men in Sesimis Cathedral not like naturally like going towards the left hand. It's like an inborn thing. So you can see, even in the church, there is there is a form of nativity showing. So what I'm saying is we can we can promote Bonnie so much by retaining it as heritage. I went to Taraba. One funny thing, I went to Taraba. When I went to the camp, immediately I started boosting saying I Bonnie they feed Nigeria. Maybe smart to my brother. I I say now Bonnie they feed Nigeria. So when I go, went went to the mami, I host more money now, shut down and the rest. When I go mami markets, as I go, they enter to buy something. The my the guys are in the same kind of room with me. They were like, now Bonnie they feed Nigeria. I say you know. I have I have promoted <laughs> Bonnie in that like because now Bonnie they feed Nigeria. Now so me I see him. So you have to prove to me otherwise. They not be Bonnie. They. <laughs> what I'm saying is we can take everything we do to heritage mm -hmm. level. Hmm. It might not be what okay. everybody likes. Okay. Um, so the sitting down position in the church you mentioned, the left and right, is it from the entrance or from the angle of the priest? From the angle of the priest. Okay, from angle from of the, the angle priest. From the angle of the priest. The yes. women like sitting on the right, why the men like sitting on the left? Or I'm telling I'm telling, yeah, no, the women always are the right, men, left. 
naturally okay. like default yeah okay okay so um 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 our big brother dango is on the comment he said no women sit at the left why men sit at the right so but i don't know if he's saying he's from the angle you know of the door of coming maybe, maybe from the door the yeah door, from the door or from the angle of if you are the priest standing up there you understand so that's why well, I try well, to well, Okay, why 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 I'm saying it that way is because not everybody is an Anglican. If I say West mm. Door, Anglicans understand. But if you go to St. Stephen's Cathedral now, there are lots of doors. You might not even know which of the door mm. Rosilip was talking about. So that's why I said okay. from the angle of the priest. Okay, okay, okay. He said from the entrance. All right. So, but let, let let's wrap up. Let's wrap up now. Um, we spent um a good. We've had a great conversation now. A lot of things have been clear. Um, we can I know you we cannot answer all the questions with you today. It's not possible. So but I, I want to ask you, you you let's talk about heritage. And I know for a, quite a while you've been concerned about how are we preserving um some of this um, um history of ours to become like our heritage, you know. And you know, I, I've been worried that my generation we, we are not hearing a lot about our history. You know, um, um, I, I got to find out recently that, you know, one of those pictures that was posted uh, during the commissioning of Shell, Shell in 1961, you will not, you will be surprised that I, I just found out that my granddad was the one standing close to the king. I mean, nobody told me. I, I, now, now we commission Shell, now we. <laughs> Yeah, so you can imagine. So, but what I want to ask you is, so what are the um, a very strategic ways we can now begin to preserve um, some of our histories, you know, um, and this, our cultures, and uh, to become sort of like an heritage for us? And just clarify, what, what does heritage mean? Um, um, and how will you differentiate uh, heritage from tourism and what are the strategies we can do to 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 preserve this for the next generation because me and you will go soon born very soon what could nobody to go to tell our children so just in 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 two three four okay. minutes just try and, and, and wrap up yeah okay okay so i will start by this i don't know if you remember years back when coming to that post office side the bunkers bunkers uh, yes building yes you see, you yes. see the lion people with them was i don't know if you got to feel like anytime you pass there you are always intrigued why are these mm. things there and you know there, there seemed to be some kind of connection that was art that mm. was bunny because the hippo the bed was connected to bunny it's bunny identity now mm. heritage i'm not going to give the dictionary definition every because everybody can Check edition, everybody can browse the web. Heritage is a combination of culture, tradition, okay. custom, okay. history. It's a combination of these four to land okay. at heritage. When you combine these four, you and you and you you have to do one or two changes and package it, you have achieved hmm. heritage. Hmm. Now, what why why is what is different from heritage and tourism? Okay, so um heritage is like let me let me give you an example foreign. The, the 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 room they have the collusion we had a fight it's not something they should be proud of but they kept the history behind it they they, they try to preserve that structure they try to if you go inside there they try to keep the the clothing that they must have wore which is their like their culture then mm. and they preserved it but they, they they also created an environment where people can come and see it they talk mm. about if you come, what is your order? So that's purely the difference. So heritage can be done, but have you facilitating, facilitating people outside to come and see so it can become profitable for you? It's what is um, 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 tourism. I'll give an example of what happened in December. At um, okay. they did. It. I'm not. I'm not a masquerade fan. I, I keep telling people I'm not a masquerade fan. I'm not a masquerade lover. I, I don't watch, but I'm a social media person. So definitely the one to I will see it. What happened to Okwema last year? We had a white man was dancing with Okwema. Mm. That was a little test of what heritage tourism can be. Mm. The white man was allowed. So this was something that was not normally done. I, I remember what I said, heritage, little things have to be changed. 
I mean, so, uh, so, uh, Okwema will not come and dance with me. Or he's dancing with a white man. He danced with the white man. Imagine that white man takes that video and show it on another white man. So next day, there are five white men who want to dance with Okwema. And he will flog them mm. small, small, small. He will mm. flog them small. What I'm saying is, mm. you, it's all real culture. It's become a culture because it has stayed long. It's part of, even if I don't, Rosilip doesn't like it. It doesn't mean there are not 100 people that likes it. So Rosilip, mm. one Rosilip does not count. So mm. it's become a culture. Like culture, the heritage, the custom, or, and everything was packaged to heritage and tourism. So that was a little glimpse of a tourism potential. Now, I'll go back to, let it not be like I said, only masquerade, St. Stevens. St. Stevens has a chair of Samuel Jai Karada. Why? Because it's part of the church history. He's part of the church's, um, is a custom. That was what made St. Stevens be, become a cathedral. That's a chair made by Bonnie people. But, uh, 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 Bishop Barra, his mother, was one of the children. It was ch little children that paid a white man to make that chair. A white man that was an architect to make that chair with six pounds as a then, uh, 1987 or so, to make that chair. And it's, so say, okay, if this is where my chair is, that means this is my cathedral. That's what makes St. Stephen's St. Stephen's cathedral. Imagine a number of Christians, Anglicans around the world, non-Christians, they just want to, because of archaeological just, things, to, to look at that just chair. To, That's to read. Just to, just to butt in a little. Um, uh, Samuel Jai Crowder, uh, was he buried at the St. Stephen Cathedral in Bonny there? No, because he didn't die in Bonny. Okay, so he died in Lagos. So I'm just trying to recount the history. And his connection yeah, to yeah. the cathedral was because he was like one of the founders of Christianity um, to Nigeria. It is called, it, another name for Cecilius Cathedral is called Crowder's Church. Crowder's the Church, okay. Crowder's Cathedral, yeah, yeah. All right, so go so, on, let so me that, that, that off, yeah. yeah, so I do, I've just given two examples. I've just given two examples of okay. what we have right now. Like present, I like, I like being real. I, I wouldn't say what is not achievable. I just mm. stood from a masquerade side, a church side, we are they are they can both achieve tourism and heritage. Now, from the mini Dubai structure, there is this plan of having a, 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 a new consulate, which will have a museum. Mm. So imagine every house, my brother. I tell you that if you go to your house now, there is something that can be in that museum, a picture, an artifact. There is something that will be in that museum that will last. So imagine there's a museum and now all these white people, because people from other museums want to see what they have written in real life. There's a canon. I, there, there's a canon for, of King Wari. King Wari was, be, was before King Awosa. A canon made as that King Wari can be dated up to 1600s. Can be dated up to 1600s. Imagine. Someone said um, the, 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 in, 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 it's called and uh, staff of office, the Odu, in the Bani language called Odu, that um, Kambasa used. Imagine the Odu that Kambasa used, that she refused to give, that made her become a queen. Imagine that, mm. that such a thing is in the museum. Who would not want to come and watch it? Who would not want to come and look it? All right. So, le 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 let me hold you there. Let me hold you there. So um, what you have said is one way we can achieve and store our heritage. A museum can help. Uh, um, yes. because I know currently yeah. currently we do not have a museum in Bonny, so there is nowhere some of these histories are stored, so it means that we are losing it as the day goes by. So, But with the new consulate building that we have a museum, it's a very strategic way um, um, uh, uh, <laughs> okay, it's a strategic way where we can, we can, we can, we can save our heritage. Okay, that's great. Um, so, but before I let you, before I let you, I want to ask you. There's, uh, there has been this conversation around Awusa, the throne, and Perekule, and the staff of office. Uh, um, uh, what is the history behind all of that? In, in two minutes, just help us clarify on that. So remember that first example I gave you about history, account of Jesus mm -hmm. being told yeah. by four people. So so yeah. in, 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 in Boni, I think the Aousa Perekule transition has the most versions of any other Boni history. 
there is the folk tale of Hausa went to war and he told his brother, um, mm -hmm. Perekule, say, watch the throne. When I come mm. back, you go give me a back. The, this I'm telling yeah. you now, the folk tale where I what, that I grew up as a child hearing. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. I, so I'm, I'm not. I'm telling you the one I first of all had, and I um, was yeah. refused. I was refused um to and um, Perekule refused to give that um um the back the throne to him. The second account says um I was was when he was within a war with Anthony seven years. And mm, mm. Um, could, not, could not fund it again. And because of the leader there, remember what I said about nativity of Bonnie revolves around mm. leadership. So they said, I was mm. I cannot fund the war again. Perekolina was tagged Captain Pepre. He was also into trading. Mm. Now, they said he had the money and he should, he should be in charge. Mm -hmm. He should be in charge. There's another version that will say that um, I was in a quadrivariate, that means four people ruling. It's not, mm -hmm. um, it's not um, uh, far fetched. I can't say it's, let me not say, I'm not saying it's true, but I'm not also saying it's a lie because even today, the, some of the houses without a chief, they run such a thing. We have four chiefs or five chiefs must agree or majority must carry the vote before a decision can be made for the house. So mm -hmm. you can see an element of it still lives on. So what I'm saying, there are like four to three stories about this, but what are these stories saying? Now, one last one. Is a man called Captain Huge Crew. Captain Huge Crew was born in the 1600. So he was a man who saw who saw Perekole and Awusa. And quoting him in this book, he tag, I, I might give you the name of the book. I'm trying to think the, the name of the book. Um, but he said, I seem it seems Awusa and Captain Pepre to be brothers or co-operators of the throne mm. judging judging from what what i said the first time about the account of jesus what have what has been repeated so far in all the story these two guys are brothers they are related this is mm -hmm. what even from the first one, Aousa and Perekule are related yes so it, it's the whole story. I'm not talking, I'm not trying to say, try, I would trace the, their, their connection is traceable. But what I'm trying to say in all these accounts that we are hearing, I'm talking in favor of this, in favor of this person, in all the accounts, you can see that truly these guys, we are, we are close. You, yes, they are close, a relative, just like Bonnie. I can be Jumbo, you can be Holiday, I can be Purple, you can be Jumbo, but we are closer brother, than brother. my purple, purple brother. We can be closer than my purple, purple brother. So okay. there we have to yeah. have that. Now, now another thing, when when John Beckroft came, John Beckroft was, I would say, in, in the whole colonization, this man was the man who started it, John Beckroft. So you can check mm. him. This man, that's the topic of another day. He started the whole colonization thing for the for the British in terms of this our region. He started in Nigeria. He started the whole foundation of colonization. That, that was around them. Um, William Dapa people, a period. So, but when 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 John Beckroft came, he said, um, not John, I think the Jude Crew. I might be mixing the name, I might get it later. But he said, We are his king, where is the king? They said the king don't go. He said, Oh, the king on holiday. You see how the name holiday is coming from because Hausa did not answer the name holiday as king. So okay. the king is on holiday. King Halliday. And if you watch subsequently, there were documents signed by a King Halliday. So that means these guys were not having trouble. As I said, then there was understanding. I feel no they happy. Now you forget negotiation. I draw I for you. Red, red, man is happy saying, you. red man is saying they were cousins. Their fathers are brothers. So they were cousins. That's what he said. Is that correct? Oh, we can't hear you again. No. Ross Philip, we can't hear you again. We can't hear you again. Okay, I said no. I said no. Okay. They are connected to Queen Kabasa, way way back. Okay, they are so not that they are pure brothers, but they are related. Oh, okay. Not like they are cousins, and then their fathers are brothers. No. Yes, but they were connected. They were connected to Queen Kabasa. They knew Bonnie was not populated, so they knew themselves. They knew their connection, and their connection was. was Queen Kabasa, the Harut Boni, so that, that knowing that Odu, she had children. That Odu or staff of office, uh, does it exist anywhere? Because I know while growing up, 
you know that small house where you are going to where you are going to um um uh, and then we are going to have this compound or something. That small house that is white at the middle of that, uh, this, you know, where you see Okwema or one time go to do some libation. Many have said that the Odu is inside that house. Is that correct? Um. Okay. I will, I will quote Fumbo that wrote Bonnie Chronicles. So, okay. so Fumbo said, you know, if you, if you check Queen Kabasa, what made her mm. come into power? Because after her new woman has come into power, she refused giving the staff of office. So that means they may have tried to take it, taking it from her, but it's in Ogri Komot or the thing has with some power. So let's let's leave it at Boni mythology. But mm -hmm. now remember, remember what I said though. These two people, they were descendants of Queen Kabasa. Mm -hmm. They could not hear their great great grandma story in be so. Mm -hmm. So Fumbo say when Awusa they give everything, they hand over to Perikule, you know, Greg give them that one. That's what Fumbo. I'm quoting Fumbo Bonnie Chronicles. Okay. I'm quoting Fumbo Bonnie Chronicles. Some say, I, I can't confirm, I think I, I can't confirm. Some say it has been given back to um the rulership of the kingdom. I can't say it concretely, but that's what I've heard. So that's that's part of um, the mystery. I think everywhere, even in China, everybody they have their own mystery. So let's leave it at a bunny mystery. But what I'm trying to say is, for mm. years, this man bunny moved without a any conflict of um power between holiday and that's what I'm saying. Like after Perekule during Fubara, you didn't hear any there was no mention of holiday trouble or holiday and um people having issue. Um, Opobo ruled nothing. William Dapa ruled nothing. King George ruled nothing. There was uh, fifty something years. We didn't. Hear, I didn't hear anything. I've not read anything about it. King George the Second, the the had um, did not have such an issue of um, mm. the staff of office. His um, son. Now, funny enough, Eugene had issues with like a descendant that uh, that is connected to the Perekule that is in Opopo took him to court. In terms of contention of the of the of the throne, but you, King Eugene won. King Eugene had that case, but he did not have any case of um, holiday, with holiday. So what I'm trying to say is, there seemed to have been some sort of agreements, or does not mean the person was happy as at when he made the agreement. People can do agreement yeah. without being happy. So that's my what I deduce from everything I've read, I've heard. So I, I can't yeah. say that for the rulership of the kingdom to say we had the old is. Hmm, interesting. I beg, I beg. <laughs> interesting. And I'm not going to go deep with you on questions on customs and all of our traditions. I'm going to leave that for my guests on Sunday. So if you're watching, you want to come back, you want to come back to hang out with me on Sunday. We'll talk a lot about some of our customs and traditions, you know, and some of the things we don't even know that happens in Bonnie. Uh, uh, me too. I want to learn in some of those things. So, before I let you go, there was a question I asked earlier today uh, on, on the on the group. Um, I asked that whenever we are coronating our king, the Bile the Bile king is always present. So I heard. Um, how true is this, and why? And I also heard when the Bile is also coronating a king, Bonnie is always present. And a friend of mine from Billy said it is because Billy and Bonnie have never had a war throughout history. <laughs> yeah, from all accounts, Billy and Nimbe, those uh, Nimbe have not had any issue with Bonnie. Billy okay. and Nimbe have never had. And watch, watch something. Watch. If you are going to put a court, what are the three JTs that are there? Bonnie, Billy, and Nimbe JT. Yes. In put court. Those are the three JTs close to each other. So yes. th these three people, they are they, they don't have issue with each other. For they were they 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 are, they, are, they, are, they are kings that married from Billy. There is a bonnie custom that says that um or oral tradition. Let me see oral tradition that says the king of Bonnie can only marry from Bonnie or Billy. Mm. Now yes, now if you the 20th anniversary of the king coronation anniversary, some Billy chiefs came and gave him gifts and sang some songs Shane Billy and Bonnie Connection. 
Sometimes mm. one, 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 one thing I, I, I want to say to people, I, I, I'm not saying Ross Phillips no history. I'm not an historian. I didn't read history. I read architecture. The only thing architecture does makes allows you to do is really research to design. So I'm applying mm. that knowledge of architecture to research. I'm not saying a, a professor from the University of um, of of Swansea of um Swansea uh, Conventry or so Swansea or so in the UK. He said the Chronicle of Bonnie is too small to express the history of Bonnie. Not my words, his words. So I read that and it got me thinking. That means there are some gaps. Chronicle is a very good start for us. It's a very good foundation. I'm not, uh, what it holds is very good because it, that, as at then, that was the most concrete thing. But that means there are some elements or some things that are left out. Okay. So, so um, um, there's an oral history that says the Bonny King can only marry from Bonny or from or Billy. Um, I mean, I'm just mm. saying that for the first time. Interesting. Interesting. Uh -huh. I, I, I would like to confirm that with my guest on Sunday. So, uh, but okay. somehow, I don't know, Red, Red Man is still not happy probably with some of the comments uh, you have made about Finima, but I know you have tried to answer some of the questions that relates to the origin of Finima um, um, uh, and how and how we, we, we came we came to be together. Okay, but okay, okay. There, there's something in yeah, asked yeah, that yeah, I, want, yeah. I, want, I want to ask you again. Um, I'm trying to look for that his comment. Uh, he said something. So okay. what, what, what led Finima joining and becoming one under Bonnie? I think you probably okay. didn't give a lot of um, um okay, okay, okay. So uh, I'm gonna like I said, I'm giving Ross Phillips Ross Phillips accounts from all I've deduced. So if you watch, there was a time in history they said Omuso was in a ship mm. by his brothers. King Fubara entered that ship as his customary for the king to survey the ship before leaving. And he had someone calling a die, a die or other 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 father. And he was like, no, for you to speak this, you're a bonnie child. He not told mm -hmm. Adango, which was the name of the Captain Hart. You know, before it was changed to Captain Hart fully, Adango mm -hmm. was his nickname. And he 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 said, Adango, oh yeah, take him to stay with you. Okay. To stay with you. So that is holding. Now, the, uh, King Fubara died. His brother took over King Opubo. Now it was King mm -hmm. Okubo that reintroduced that told Omuso to go back to Finima. And he said, take some um of your men, or Adam got taught it twice to take some of his men to join him at Finima. Have you not ever wondered why the hearts are in Finima? Mm. The hearts being in Finima. But before then, Bonnie and Finima, Bonnie and Finima has been, and um, I don't want to say Bonnie and Finima. Uh, let's say the rest part of Bonnie Kingdom. I, one thing I want to establish, I think that's what Red is asking. I will say, mm. I will say from yeah, all I'm I have waiting, seen. I'm waiting, I'm waiting for you to land so that you can also answer yeah. because he, he wants to know from you who yeah, found that from him or who found I, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm going to be honest with you. From all I have seen, from all I have seen, mm. and it's not because of just the history book. From all I have mm. seen, Finima was the last of all the fourteen communities that came together to mm -hmm. form Bonnie Kingdom. Finima mm. was the last to agree. Yes. So, but who, so I would who, say that. who do, you, do you by any chance know who founded the Finima itself? Congo. 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 Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's no. coming from yeah. coming from the Tombia extraction. Yes, coming from those people. And there's also accounts of because if if on that thing is if Congo founded, how are we sure that Congo did not leave? With the Tombia people, because this is why this is what I do different from. I believe this is what I do different from every other person that is um, history inclined. I don't like looking mm. at it from one angle. There's also the angle of Abu Sa was in a Kodiverate, and when Perekule took over, other people in his in that we are in that called Kodiverate, we are not happy. Like a poor, he went to the Finima zone, because if you watch the rest of the community, Finima seems to be very far zoned out naturally zoomed out naturally mm. zoomed out on, on our team we, we have to understand about this zone because this was this this was this is also creating a gap is those those any purple houses the purple houses that left you know when mm. we are talking about lands and positioning geographically you seem to never have a picture of where they were 
Yeah, was Oko Epele. Yeah, was Cookie Gum. Why is Cookie Gum and Brand House? Why are they good? Why are they in good tidings? Because mm. Cookie Gum was closer. To we had the Brand House East. So when they left, when they left, who would naturally take your property? Mm. Oh, let me not say property. Who would naturally take your thing? So, who would naturally so the, take the your? Pe the person that is closer to you will be the one that will take it now. Who took? Who, 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 yeah, who took Oko Epele's place? Who took Oko Epele's place? Mm. Who would take Oko Epele's place? I don't know. Who would take a good head place? Eh, now, now your people, <laughs> Uncle Jumbo. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, these places that people had been before, other people are taking it. So what I'm saying is, they met, they met, they met. But from all I have deduced, because I want to, I've read an account of. Of 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 Bonnie's accounts. It's not a popular book, but it talks about mm. Chief Awanta. And Chief Awanta is Chief Awanta is um 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 Opubo, King Opubo's mates, Fubara Opubo's mates. He's their mm. mate. By in terms of age, he's their mate. You know, there, there's one funny account that says uh Chief Awanta told King Opubo that let Bonnie not end the, the slave trade because of um um the white man have made money from it and they don't want the um, bonnie to make money and grow from it you know he, he he they came after the whites came after chief awanta that's why they took him away people notable people the, the whites took away awanta william jaja this mm. are notable people that they were now there was, even after william left there was a, a manila purple chief that they because after william left there was a uh, so a, a, a another bonnie person that that ruled from that root and dapa that put year or so yeah that put year after king william before george before george became before william came back before william came back before king william came back from britain they blamed one of william's um, um closest friend or chief which was chief fred chief fred purple is not is not noted to be a manila purple chief okay. in their okay okay Okay, okay, okay. Ah, my head is full. <laughs> um, I, I know a lot of things. A lot of things confuse me about this housing system. Um, Annie Purple, Manila Purple. Um, um, I mean, a lot of the people. I want to keep that for my guest on Sunday. He's going to try to make sense for us for all, all of those houses. So Red is asking because you no made problem. mention of um, um, Ipo. You made mention of that name when you were giving the account of the Finima. So Red, Red is asking that no. who was in Finima that welcomed Ipo? Um, I don't know what that means. Uh, so you, who was in Finima? Was it even called who Finima? Was in not, not really, because because there was a time when, uh, if, if in the history books, if you are talking about the period when Awanta was there, Finima, even Crowder referred to Finima as Juju Town in bracket Finima. That was where uh, Crowder first landed. That was where William Dapper first landed when he came back again. But when we are okay. going, we are going back and back and back. Mm. What we are seeing mm. is the, the, the word again, the word ayambo. They say it's not Ibani, it's Andoni. Mm. Mm. You, if you check the word Perekole Iwama, Iwama means new town in Boni. That means Perekole mm. found a new town. Perekole Iwama, mm. Iwama. What we say Iwama? Uh, Perekole so found a also, new town. There's also greens Iwama. Yes, because the greens were at Peter's side before they moved to a new place. People we are moving. It's 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 changed like wisdom now. Very few people don't, don't, don't know your location right now, but mm. you you are present. I'm, on on another thing, we have to understand in, in in from my view in history is time. What was playing out? You have to consider the factors that were playing out. I will give an example. I will give a, a present day example that will that will be different in the next One hundred minute. years or two hundred years. One minute. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Wisdom. In the next, in the next two hundred years, if Boni people want to talk about Boni history in the year, in the year um, two thousand and eighteen, two thousand and nineteen, two thousand and seventeen, two thousand and twenty, which chief do you think will be mentioned the most? Um, that would be probably the likes of Chief Abel Tony. Um, Thank you. Uh, uh, because I was, I, I would say that categorical because you know he is, he is mostly among the young people, and a lot of young people have so much access to him. Um, um, be, before now, I will also mention Chief, Chief, late Chief Jim Halliday, 
uh, uh, because he, he also had a lot of access to many young people. So people can remember. I mean, there are a lot of chiefs in the chiefs cap and the are members okay. cabinet that even yeah. most of us don't now, know. Now, so do you know, do you know why? Do you, now, do you know why I asked this particular question? Because yes, we wow. have a number of chiefs. Because hey, chief, chief, captain, chief, captain Hart, chief Captain Hart, I forgot. Chief yes. Captain Hart. Yes. Chief Captain Hart. Like, what, what, what I'm saying is, not some houses don't have chiefs now. Abi. Okay. Yes. So it yes. will look like 200 years from now. 200 years from now, we don't know what will change about Bonnie. Facebook might be an and Facebook might be a very old thing, but it will be the mm. reference point. Whoever appears on Facebook the most than any other chief presently in Bonnie, he will mm. be the most mentioned. 200 years from now, Chief Eber will look like he was Okojumbo of then. Mm. All right, let's hold, it there. <laughs> <laughs> let, <laughs> let's hold it there. Let's hold it there. I mean, you've done, you've done justice to some of the conversation. And like you said, this is just you trying to explain um, uh, better what you have read. It's your it's sort of your account, um, um, your own yeah. version, not, not necessarily um, categorically what has played out, but because you have read widely, this is what you have come to understand. Um, I mean, there might be different views because I think someone that disagrees with you the most on this comment session is Redman, and he's saying you have tried, but you need to go back to read some more. So maybe Redman, I need to bring you on this show for you to break down some <laughs> of the history. You also know for us. Uh, so, but let me read the comment from Dalit in Adango. Um, Congo left Okoloba with his people, but died at at um, Bregide. Bre uh, Bre Bre yeah, Bregide. Bregide is Bregide. just... Bregide. 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 Bregide, sorry. Bregide. Bregide is just across the sea. Um, Congo, son, Allah, Owo, Allah... Um, Alaoui 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 led them to Ipang Ipang Yo Ipang Yo Ipang Yo the present cinema I mean give me give me a slack I'm trying I'm doing my best these names are You're doing very well <laughs> All right so Roslip I want to thank you so much we have got we have exceeded our time um and more than the usual but I mean this is a fun of having it on Facebook and not on TV or channels TV where we have to play around with airtime uh, uh, to do a lot. But we've had a great conversation. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I, I mean, maybe my, my children, I will be referring my children to you to give them some account of history. Uh, uh, so please bear with me when, when my boys begin to worry me for history. I will, I'll be, I'll be you might be, you might be the one that will say that, that might live the longest, so be ready to. <laughs> 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 Anyways, thank you, thank you so so much. Um, I I want us to keep doing what we've been doing lately on Facebook and keep sharing some of those old uh, um, uh, pictures. The Creed, um, at last, you guys are doing so much work and and it's great because you are you are keeping us and good for Facebook. We can store some of these as um, uh, conversations and stories for as long as possible. And the internet is here maybe, to stay maybe. forever. So yeah, uh, maybe. That's maybe. It. Maybe, 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 maybe when, the, when, maybe when the museum comes, pictures will be shared. Like, like there, there's something I, I, I want to say. If, like, this is a good medium. Each, I will say it, each family has a picture that will tell a story. Imagine 1,000 pictures that is nowhere mm. to be found only in a family. 1,000 pictures that tells a story. Like my house, we have a lot of female. There are a lot of area pictures. Mm. It tells a story of old mm. boy. So, I, my appeal is people should not look at it that. That, that, mm. and holding on to things is what has made most of this history, culture, and uh, mm. information die off. Is mm. because we hold on to it. Like they say, that that's what they blame for the language. Um, working with the team, we are working on something. If not for the COVID nineteen, it should have been out. But we are working mm. on something. We are trying to mix. We are trying to mix sports and history together. Sports right. and history. Is sports is what we do. Yeah. Okay. So we are trying to mix sports. And history together. Ross Philip, Ross Philip, um, Irima, uh, thank you so much. Uh, but we are going to leave thank it at you. that for the show. Maybe we'll have you at another time. But if you're watching on Sunday, hang out with us, same time, 4 p.m. My guest is Waris Senebo Darlington Adango, 
and he will be breaking a lot of things down for us from some of the customs and traditions. Uh, we'll talk a bit about the area. We'll talk about our chieftaincy houses. We'll come to understand a lot of things that uh, many of us have not heard before. So hang out with us. Ross Philip, my main guy, Thank you, my correct guy. Thank you so Thank much you, for, for everything. Eh? Thank you. So I'll let you go now. See you later. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. All right. I mean, it's been an interesting conversation. Me, I am learning. I like history so much. I like culture so much. Um, um, if not for my if not for my mom holding me back in my very young days while growing up in Bonnie, I wanted to join the Hat House Owobo. I mean, it's how much is how much I've loved culture so much. I wanted to be part of it. I loved how the dances were going, how the culture, how they beat the drums, how the movement of the dance, you know, but my mom held me back um, in my very, very young days while in secondary school. I, I saw a lot of the Hat House Owobo and I wanted to join them just to understand what the culture was all about. But unfortunately, she didn't, she didn't allow me to. Uh, uh, so, but I have always fall, fallen in love with so much of the culture of Boni, the Ijo people and River State people in, in, entirely. Uh, so uh, on, on Sunday, my guests will be helping us break down customs and tradition. So I was somewhere um, in one of my leaders' house, uh, political leaders, and the chief was there. And there was a drink on the table. Uh, I mean, they had passed the drink around and everybody has had their own part of the drink. Uh, but I wanted to take um, 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 some, 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 some of the drink and I approached the table to take from it. And somebody stopped me on the way and said, no, when a chief is on a table and there's a bottle of drink on the table, you must first take permission from the chief before you turn the bottle of drink unless you'll be fined for it. I never knew this. I mean, I'm one of the millennials, so I thought, come on, there's a drink on the table and we should just take it. And what what what's the problem with having to do that? Uh, so no nothing. So but so these are some of the things we will discuss on Sunday. Um, um just to break down some of these histories, um uh, customs and tradition for us to understand better for some of us who are as, as young as me. I mean I'm in my very, very, very early 30s. I think so. <laughs> All right. See you on Sunday, guys. This is the Hangout Series. My name is Wisdom Chap Jumbo, and your own main man will be back here again on Sunday for more of the conversation. Do hang out with us. Have a lovely evening and enjoy your weekend.